Oh. Hello. That was crispy. Crispy or like loud or like crispy loud? Crispy loud. Like rice crispy? Yeah. Okay. It's giving it was giving pop rocks. Pop like Yeah. Didn't it always fascinate you like how they just pop in your mouth? Like why? Yeah, I have pop rocks downstairs actually. Halloween? No, my friend, they're probably not even good anymore, but my friend had a baby shower before <laughs> she had a baby, and she, in like the little goodie bags, Pop Rocks were in there. Love goodie bags. You remember going to party, like uh, birthday parties when you were younger? People would just and the have, goodie bags. Had goodie bags? Yeah. You remember that? And you had to have like the best goodie bag though. Like, Dude, there was one the party, party I went to, they gave us movies. Spider-Man 3. There was like a bunch though. It was weird. I want that, friend. Right? All right. We're, we're good. We're live. We're good. We're Gucci gang. We're live. We're rolling. It's roly poly. poly. It's sunshine around. You know that show? Roly poly? Oh, yeah. The no, poly, it doesn't ring a bell. Roly poly, poly. He's something, something. You don't know roly poly, poly? It was on like Treehouse. It sounds familiar. Keep singing it. Holy, holy, holy. I'm just joking. I don't know what the fuck it is. Fuck you, dude. Wait, no, you know who he is. If yeah, I yeah, 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 him. yeah, yeah, yeah. No, show me, show me, show me. I know it's who giving he is. you that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's giving. No, 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 no. No, no, no. I definitely know. Roly poly, fam. He was the guy that was rolling. Roly poly, oly. Roly poly, oly. Did he do ollies? No, it's it's giving you've, nothing. You've that's, that's never what it is. watched Roly Oly Poly. No, dude, I was a simple Pokemon kid. I was like a like a Yu Gi Oh kid. I was I liked a Yu -Gi -Oh. Recess kid. Loved Recess. Weekenders. Dave the Barbarian. People, this was this wasn't even our generation though. That was like our sister. Dave the Barbarian was good. Dave, the, you know who Dave the Barbarian? is? You know what show was really good? Maggie Which? and the Ferocious Beast. Never watched it. What? what kind of shows do you watch? You've never all seen Maggie All jokes aside, they're probably the most like popular shows, and it's like I'm the weird one. Where it's like I just haven't. Yeah, watched no, them. you are. Maggie okay. and the Ferocious Beast was such a good show. Okay, wait, this is Roly Oly Poly theme song. Let me make sure it's the right one. My, that is the most terrifying. Yeah, no, never watched it. Also, such that intro show. was the most terrifying voice I've ever heard. <laughs> but it's such a good song. I thought this was like a slaps. Frankenstein movie for a second. But it slaps. Did it slap? Yeah. Yeah, I really like Loki, though. Like, you go back on one of the shows that you loved or, like, movies that you loved. And, like, nowadays, you're like, how the fuck was this how good? How did I enjoy that? Why? How did I enjoy that? You know which one I used to hate? Which one? Um, Little Bear. Little Bear. What was that about? Uh, it was about a bear. Not the Berenstain no, Bears. I didn't. Not the Berenstain Bears because yeah. I loved them. And Little Bear always came on, and I was like, "Want to be Berenstain Bears?" But mm. yeah, I don't really remember what Little Bear was about. But I knew I didn't like it. It gave <laughs> me boring. Okay. You know. Well, you still watched it. Yeah. <laughs> I did. <laughs> oh my goodness, yo! So I got a segment for us today. Okay, wait. Hi guys, welcome back to the pod. <laughs> Hang on. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome your faces back <laughs> to a brand new episode on the Fun Bond Podcast. Yes, sir. I'm Maya. My name is Elias, and today, wow, we really almost just skipped over it like that. We always do. I feel it's like so we're fun, just though. so comfortable now, and it's like whoever, like we're just the homies. We that are, you know, you know, for everyone watching, like us, us, yeah, we homies. Not not just like not just you and me, but everyone but watching. Yeah. Yes, yes. So, yeah. guys, welcome back. Um, that's my I'm Elias. We if you're new here, welcome to the Fon Bon. This is our podcast that you know we started and it's this is well Still it's going. yeah. <laughs> it's that's that's it. Welcome. Stay for stay for a bit. You might enjoy. Uh guys, on some real shit though, please like, comment, and subscribe and share our videos. You know, it really does help us out. And uh we're stuck at 83 subscribers. So if we could get that to hundred, that'd be fucking lovely. Cause then we could I'm get our own make URL. Some more. Oh yeah. Yeah. You're about, about to make, make some more accounts. I'm about to make some accounts. I contemplated it. I said, 
got to support yourself first and foremost. First of all. First and foremost. I do be liking all our videos. <laughs> And I comment on our Instagrams like it's some stranger. Guys, my comments as if like she's not a part of it. <laughs> I wonder if people like see when like you reply to my comments and they think it's me just replying to myself. I sincerely hope they think that. I, I like, can't, wow, this bitch is saying, crazy. <laughs> wow, she's so desperate that she replies back to herself. But like, also no, it's kind of beautiful. It's like, damn, she really just talking to herself. You know? Yeah. Respect. She's just prospering. Thanks. <laughs> so our segment for today <laughs> yo yo we got some crazy facts that are gonna fucking blow your mind oh fuck okay like they, they i'm don't, excited they don't make sense like they oh. don't so the gears are just gonna pause Shh, not hard were break. they ever turning let's be honest okay no let's so be honest we, were they yeah, ever turning no because like i'm offended because you're right yeah but like sometimes there's things you don't have to say you know what i'm saying yeah but wouldn't i be fake if i weren't if I wouldn't tell right. you that. Right. There we go. Okay. That's true. Humans are the only animals that enjoy spicy foods. What? Humans well, are the only animals that enjoy spo- spicy foods. Yeah, but like where is like what animal is going to have spicy food? I guess, I, mean? I guess they've tested it and they're like, here, we'll give them spicy food. But I guess they don't react well to it. Here, let's read. Let's read a little bit. Okay. Because it kind of makes sense. It's an evolutionary mystery that scientists have had trouble explaining, but humans are the only animals who actually enjoy eating spicy food. There does not seem to be any health benefits to eating painful peppers, though some research finds that it may fight off fungus. You you, you like spicy peppers? (laughs) They're good for, uh, they're good for fungus. Fungus, apparently. So the best reason some have suggested is the thrill factor. No different than the fact that we're only animals that like roller coasters and scary movies thank you that is true well yeah, it's just is... for pleasure it's just for thrill yeah but like when is like what a dog gonna hop on a roller coaster and be like we like low-key dogs will love roller coasters no i feel like dogs are up in there because why do dogs stick their heads out cars mm, might have done something okay let me change the let me change that why would, would a, a giraffe <laughs> sit <laughs> Maya, what zoo are we at? <laughs> Why is there a giraffe on a roller coaster? I'm just saying. I didn't want to say a basic animal. If there was a giraffe at say Canada's you're Wonderland, you're on Leviathan. The okay? world would shut down. You're on Leviathan. You look love back. that ride. And a fucking giraffe. How? Like I would say, is this could you Madagascar? The neck? Like imagine the neck. I would say, where's the penguins of Madagascar? Because I'm ready Smile for a trip away, to, boys. to Africa. I'm ready for a trip to Madagascar. Let's go. I fucking love Madagascar, first of all. Such a good movie. Okay, but yeah. But like, it makes sense that humans are like the only ones that like enjoy spicy food. Because when is an animal going to like eat spicy food? And obviously, they're not tolerable to it. Why is it also such a pride thing? Like, like oh, you can't handle spice? Oh, yeah. Like, why is it why so negative? Why do you negative? care? Why is it so such a negative thing when like someone's like, oh yeah, like I'm not good with spicy food or I, I like, like oh I don't bro, like spicy you don't food. like spice? Like, wow, like who even are you? Especially especially if you're like ethnic or anything, you have to like spicy food apparently. Yeah, and I don't. Okay, yeah. listen, I don't blame people because the way that white people be cooking without seasoning, I get that. Okay, I get that. But why are you making fun of me? Like it's too goddamn hot. Like, sorry, like, don't get me wrong, I like spicy food, but I don't like when it's so spicy that I can't enjoy what I'm eating. When I'm going to Osmos, I'm not getting the fucking hot si- spice, okay? Because that shit- I did that once. No, that shit And I couldn't fucked. even finish. Because I was like, it's- It's not enjoyable. It's, it hurts me. <laughs> it's painful. It's painful. I did that, like, spicy- Remember when that spicy noodle challenge was a thing? We did it. You did it? I did it, too. Yeah. Okay. So I did it with Tyson, and Tyson can handle any type of heat, like, any yeah. type of heat. Like, it does not phase him. So we did it. You guys did the red packet? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Mm. Yes. Yeah, that's and the two times spicy. It's fucking hot. It's hot. Was it the red packet or was it the black one then? The black I don't pe- remember. The, yeah. The red is the spiciest one. Yeah. I don't remember, but I genuinely thought my throat was closing up. <laughs> I said, this I is- I couldn't feel my esophagus. How did- it, Oh, how did she die? Oh, she ate noodles. Can like, you imagine? Death that's by spicy noodle challenge. That's no, that's humbling. 
That's humbling. Oh, my grace don't put can handle the spice. <laughs> couldn't handle the heat. Spicy white boy, but couldn't handle the spice. <gasps> my thing was spicy white boy. I'm a spicy white boy, right? You're spicy. Yeah, you're spicy white. All right, we're good. We're good. We're good. Yeah. Um, this one, this one's gonna fuck you up. Ready. <laughs> Potato chips cause more weight gain than any other food. I'm a, uh, suddenly I'm deaf. Can you believe that? Suddenly I'm deaf. Can you fucking believe really? that? Really? The because most. I love chips. What do you think about it? They do be doing a lot with potato chips. Yeah. Right? But they're so good. Any form. Any form. Like, all I can think about is Lay's right now. Mm. And it's hitting. But like, I see, I see. The- I'm getting to a point though where I think all brands are just overrated. You feel that? All brands like all brands like like Lay's. Oh, yeah. Like yeah, they're yeah. just oh, overrated because I'm they're buying just, air. Like, I'm buying air. That's what I'm buying. buying. That truly, but it's also like they all taste the same. To be honest, it's giving Pepsi and Coke. Sorry. Hang on a second. No, there's a difference between Pepsi and Coke. I don't drink. I don't drink either, so okay. I really don't know because right. I don't like them. But um, yeah. I think you're actually more of a psychopath if you think that there's no difference. Then they're between Pepsi and Coke. Yeah, then they're actually being really. A difference. Yeah, I honestly like haven't had Coke in so long. I hate the taste of it. Mm. Yeah, I'm not a. I never understood people that like, for example, like Jay. He likes Sprite. He doesn't like Coke. I don't get that. I like Sprite. Uh, yeah, no, I prefer like I always get Sprite over. I had a root beer phase. And I love root beer. Fucking would, slaps, though. I would get root beer all the time, and everyone was like, "You're disgusting," and I'm like, "No." Did you ever fuck with Dr. Pepper? No. Dr. I Pepper kind of slap. I'm not gonna lie. Dr. I Pepper kind of slap. I don't like Dr. Pepper. I think I had it once, and I was like, "This? Who have made this? Jail." Jail. No, come on. Jail. Root beer slaps, though. Root beer's good. Ginger ale, though. Ugh. Ugh, no. Ginger no. Ale hits. No, no, dude. I love ginger ale. I could, like, honestly. Love it. No. Love it. People no. are like, oh my god, you shouldn't only drink it when you have a sore, like an upset stomach. Nah, bro. That shit good. First of all, I never believed in that shit. Yeah, no, because I'd be having that when I have an upset stomach. And I think my body's just too used to it. You still drink it? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> From time to time. So, yeah. I used to, I had a phase where I only had, like, I literally every day would eat popcorn and a ginger ale. That's it? No, I have other food, but, like, that was, like, my nighttime snack. Okay. I was yeah, just my, making sure because I'm like, hey, that's not very nutritional, my. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And my family used to make fun of me. Ah, they still do, but yeah. You ever had those meal. weird snacks? Like, like, what? like that, like that—that that was your thing. Popcorn and a ginger oh, ale. Popcorn and ginger ale. I feel yeah. like that's not weird. Is that weird? I guess it's not weird, but it's like but that like, was, that was that's saying. your thing. It was like I feel yeah. like everyone has their thing. Like it their could be thing. like a fucking fruit roll up and like a Mars bar. Okay, you know, like something yours? specific. Mine was it changed. I, I used to eat popcorn with chocolate chips, like chocolate okay. chip. I would that's put chocolate like chips people, in my popcorn. Yeah, that's kind of like people putting M- their M and M's in there. Yo, M and M's and popcorn fire. Yeah, that shit slaps. That shit slaps. Like, that shit slaps. Um, I haven't. That was like when I was young, though. I was like yeah, a yeah, yeah. young teenager. Now it it's now. now <sighs> my I don't really have snack now is sleep. Mine is broke. <laughs> it's called it's called poor. We don't have snacks. We don't have snack. I am the snack. I eat myself. Mm, whoa, whoa, whoa! You do what now? I eat myself. Yeah. Think about that. <laughs> ah! <laughs> okay. Um. Yo. <laughs> I just had to look up to the Lord for a second. Don't don't worry. He's coming into the conversation soon. Um, That (laughs) fish is probably labeled wrong. (laughs) What do you mean? Are you ready for this? Are you ready for this? Okay. Yeah. That salmon is probably not salmon. (laughs) Researchers estimate that about one third of all fish sold in restaurants and grocery stores is mislabeled. (laughs) So what is salmon what? actually rainbow trout and rainbow trout? Listen here, Mr. Salmon? Crab. What the fuck am I buying? Okay, am I buying lobster? What's what's happening here? Am I buying tuna? 
Because, How? okay, salmon, you can't really, okay, salmon and like rainbow, ra- what did I say? Rainbow uh, trout? Sure. They're both like a pinky reddish. Salmon is lighter than rainbow Isn't trout. Isn't bass pink too? I've never had a bit. Uh, I'm not good with fish. I don't think so. Okay. Because when we used to catch, did we catch bass? Yeah, we used to catch bass and eat them and I feel like they were not pink. Right. But- Maybe like the white fish, you can kind of misplace the labels, the names, or like mix up the names. But I feel like it's hard for fish that have a certain look. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I'm saying. It's like, how, how, and do- how do you just mi- mix that up? Did the butcher get something wrong? Like, I don't. Did the fisherman, get... like, what was he fishing? Like, what's the process of. You catch a fish. Yep. Step one. Send it to the store. Step two. I feel like there's two steps. I know like you catch a fish. You have to kill it. Uh, right then and there? Um, or does it die because it's not in water? Usually it's so morbid, but okay. Uh, am I exposing my family? I don't know if other families do that. You usually have to. Are you guys fish killers? <laughs> no. If we would catch a good fish at the cottage and we'd have to kill it. This is definitely not humane. You chopped the head off. No, we would take a hammer. What? <laughs> <laughs> what? All right, guys, gather around, gather around. We're about to fuck this fish up. We would take a hammer and you'd bash it. And then the fish, obviously. Oh, my God. And then you have to, like, scale it, like, descale it. Yeah, and I know. I've, I've never done that. Skin it. I've never even caught a fish. I have... Yeah, it's not mm, cutting into a fish after killing it. Their muscles still work because I it was very terrifying because I was cutting the fish Mm -hmm. and it moved. And I said, babes, somebody. Hi. Fish is alive. Like she twitched or like twitched, like kind of like a guy in his sleep, you know? Yeah, Mm. (laughs) literally, though. And I was like, this is alive. My mom's like, no, it's dead. The muscles. I'm like. What do you mean? She's like, it's, like her, it's her reaction. I'm like, what are you talking about? Because She's what like, I'm seeing is here normal. is this thing moving while I'm cutting into it. Can you imagine Mama Sue comes in? She's like, actually, if you press down right here, his left leg will move. It's like they have like, legs. As if they have just about to say fin. that. I'm dead. No, literally. And I was like, okay. But yeah, there's like. <laughs> Hang on. Catching, so just, to, just so we get it again on the record as if it's not already on the record. But so you would take the hammer and okay, you would bash it. I've never it done and... this. Oh, so you're not a culprit. My, my, my grandma has done it. Okay. Um, but would you bash it in the head? What's the yeah. word? That's the target? Yeah, you would like right. bash it. Is that what she did? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, guess I haven't it's... like caught a fish in a while. So in a really... way, is that more humane than letting them suffocate? that too because usually we would leave them in like a bucket with of water. water right and then we'd take it out and we have you seen the fucking tiktok of the fucking turtle being cooked why when it skinned the why thing? why are we cooking turtles i didn't even i thought we were know. saving those see... bitches did you see the react <laughs> not no. cooking them so what am i doing with my paper straws that that disintegrate in my drink if, if we're, we're gonna, gonna cook them cook... fuck it bring the straws back <laughs> like What's not me? clicking? What's not clicking? No, that should but, be illegal. Um, did you see the guy's reaction video to that? No. And he was like, oh my God, I used to have a pet turtle. Oh, yeah. Like, Actually, I've seen a few reactions. <laughs> yeah, he's like, he's like, you can do that? <laughs> I was like, oh my God. No, but I've I didn't know you so could many skin people, it. Like, my first instinct when I saw the video, I was like, oh, they're making something for the <laughs> turtle. <laughs> like, so did so many thousands of people. No. Nope. Fucking. As soon as I thought I saw the four so, limbs, I said, "Okay." Those were its legs. I'm assuming, correct? Yeah, those were the legs. That's so sad. Poor turtle. Did you also see the fucking TikTok of this is a while back? But the the guys went to the store with the lops to a restaurant with a lop an uncooked lobster. They ordered a lobster. It came. They took the cooked lobster off the plate. They put an uncooked lobster on the plate. I just stare out of pocket. And they called the waiter and everything. And they're like, yo, like it's uncooked. And the waiters at and the, the, the fucking chef came out and everything, the manager. And they're like, oh, shit, it's not cooked. They went back and they cooked the lobster and they brought it back. 
Can you believe that? They got two lobsters. Could you imagine the waiter coming back to check on them up on up on them and there's two lobsters there? My fuck them getting two lobsters. Can you imagine being that lobster? Going to the restaurant and be like, hey, family outing. (laughs) We're going on a trip. But I ain't coming back. (sighs) That's tragic. Imagine being that lobster. Couldn't be me. Also, oh, it's that restaurant is like, can I get the fucking sashimi, please? Yo, me with, with me as sushi, I'm saying, hey, bring it out. It just don't, don't like, like, don't post a video of you cooking a turtle. Oh, That's all I'm yeah. For. Yeah. Kind of morbid. You know I mean, saying? killing animals is kind of morbid, but. We've been doing it for a long time. They taste good, so sorry. The vegans are not going to be happy. Or I'm the vegetarian. Not, I'm not anti- Let's not kill Listen, chickens. You know what I'm saying? If you do it in a way that's be humane and like, you know what I'm saying? But I'm still going to eat meat. Sorry. Yeah. You know, I tried to be a vegetarian in high school. It lasted a month. Which Longer than anyone thought. I've actually Honestly, been meaning to try it for like a month. Hmm? I've been meaning to try it for like a month. It's not bad. <laughs> okay, so I started it. I feel like I've told the story, but I don't know. But I started it and then... My class was going to medieval times. Oh. And then, but before I started being vegetarian, I filled out the form that said I wasn't vegetarian <laughs> and I couldn't change my meal. And then I got to medieval times and I said, well, and now we're here. Chicken ready. And I ate that chicken leg. I did not hesitate. And I said, oh, suddenly I'm not vegetarian. Ooh. I think but my was... stomach after, I was not, not okay. Mm. I was not. My body was like, what are you doing? Yeah. But like, it wasn't hard at all. Oh, I hear fireworks. Is it um, Canada Day? What's going on? It's Diwali. Do, is that how you say it? Oh, it is Diwali. Yeah. Happy Diwali, um, everybody. Happy Diwali. Uh, what was I saying? Don't know. Um, your stomach was fucked. Yeah. But, like, it was easy. Like, it wasn't hard. I just got, like, substitutes of things. I went to a vegan restaurant today, actually, which is really, really good. Interesting. Yeah, I got, like, this dip. Wasn't it you that was telling me something's vegan that, like, I did not expect? Something, someone was telling me that something very, con- Oreos are vegan. Oreos are vegan? Yeah. Apparently Call Oreos. i health queen. <laughs> I'll be eating those bitches every day. Mm, Oreo thins? Yeah, apparently Oreos are, are vegan. That's so what is the. Cr- so we'll fact check that. What is the thing in the middle? Because I thought that. Oh, Artificial what is icing? Cream. What is icing? Is that not like, don't you have to add like. All right, no, I gotta Google because something's not clicking for me. Isn't icing sugar? Oreos, yeah, but you have to mix it. Oh, uh, maybe. Oreos are technically vegan, Te- but they're not a whole food plant based. What did I say? Yet. What did I say? We Anytime you hear a technically, the answer is just right. Whole food plant based is a healthier take on veganism. Okay, I don't care about that. So because they're not healthy, they're not con- tech. They're they aren't considered vegan like you can't substitute it for anything you know mm. you know what i'm saying I'm but yeah saying. and there is a chance of small amount of milk being present yeah because what do you mix the sugar with when you make the icing or the <clears throat> whatever you know what i'm saying <clears throat> That's unless you use like oat milk or like but we know damn well oreo ain't doing that no. who makes oreos because it ain't anyways wow vegan though that's is it Nestle? I don't know. Anyways, next. <laughs> Bananas can't reproduce. They can't? They can't. They can't. Chitta bang bang, you know? Oh, re- yeah, okay. What is... I'm confused. <laughs> they can't reproduce <laughs> as in what's happening here. <laughs> the bananas. We are yeah. all... We all know and love. Yeah. I... Known as Cavendish. Are in fact a hybrid of two other plant species. It has no oh. seeds and has only been able to reproduce with the aid of farmers who remove and transplant part of the plant's stem so, in order to create our favorite yellow fruit. So bananas are man made. Now hang on a second. When did bananas come into play in human history? I don't know. Because this doesn't make sense to me. If they weren't able to reproduce, how Where the did, fuck did they start? How did so they know to, to to put the two things together? Hybrid and of two, two other plant species. What two plant species? When did bananas become a thing? Um, I, cl- I clicked the link and it says, wow, 
what pops up is the unfortunate sex life of a banana. <laughs> Pardon? The humble <laughs> banana almost seems like a wait, miracle. Wait, does that nature. mean like? Oh wait, no, they just have seeds. Bananas, as we know, began to develop in Africa in about six six fifty A.D. That was a long time ago. I didn't even know that was a thing. Breeding two varieties of wild bananas, the Musa acuminata. Sorry, I'm butching this. <laughs> And the Musa Balbi, Balbiciana. All right. So basically, they, they can't have the, the sex. Interesting. Yeah. Plants have sex? Yeah. So you mean to tell me apples be fucking? Apples be fucking. Balls deep. More to me. <laughs> it's impossible. <laughs> it's impossible. <laughs> Composure. It's impossible yeah. to hum <laughs> while you hold your nose. It's pardon. It's impossible to. Hum- <laughs> Why would you say pardon me and then do it? <laughs> Sorry, I sometimes I'm slow and it doesn't process right away. What do you mean? Okay, <laughs> hold your nose, hum. What? Why would okay, wait, you? Nose- Why would you scream hum? I didn't hear you humming. My nose. I was trying to. Um, you can do it. No, but it stops. My nose is running and I don't want to squeeze it. Yeah. It stops. Like, you'll do it for like a second, then it stops. Maybe I'm just not plugging it right. <laughs> <laughs> Episode 31 and people are starting to see our personalities. Ha, ha, ha. Um, anyways, plugging. No. Nose. Didn't know that. You, oh, what was the one? There was one I heard where it was like, you can't. I don't know, but it was you interesting. It. No, I actually don't. Okay. Mm-hmm. Uh, when it comes back to you, let me know. Yeah. Okay. It's Bigger forks time. lead you to get to eat less. Bigger forks lead you to eat less. That doesn't make sense. A study in the Journal of Consumer Research found that when diners were given smaller forks with which to eat their meals, they ended up eating less. Sorry. Given eating... smaller forks. Huh? Bigger fork. Okay, hang on. The headline is bigger forks lead you to eat less. Okay. Now it's a, let me repeat this. A study in the Journal of Consumer Research found that when diners were given smaller forks with which to eat their meals, they ended up eating less. According, huh. I'll, con- I'll continue. Hang on. According to the researchers, this is because the smaller the forkfuls of food lead diners to feel they are not making much of a dent in consuming their food, and hence satisfying their hunger i think we're just fucking dumb and we can't comprehend this to be honest no like there's no or this is just really but they came bigger forks make you eat less okay we're gonna analyze this okay but it says in the the text that smaller forks make you eat less so maybe that was a typo no maybe we're just being dumb okay Research found that when we diners just... were given smaller forks, okay, they're given, you and me, we're at a restaurant, right? We're given smaller right. forks yeah, to eat our meals. Yes. They ended up eating less. According to researchers, this is because the smaller forkfuls of food lead diners. This is just a hell of a sentence. This is because the smaller forkfuls of food lead diners to, quote unquote, feel they are not making much of a dent in consuming their food and hence satisfying their hunger, end quote. But So maybe they're, they're actually meant to say bigger forks. Bigger fork. Yeah. No, yeah, like bigger forks in the text. Yeah, 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 yeah. But I feel like with a bigger fork, or maybe they meant smaller forks in the title, because I feel like with a bigger fork, you obviously leave a bigger dent because you're scooping up more. Oh, maybe that's what they meant. You know? Right. Whereas with a little fork, you're not taking as much, so it doesn't look like you're eating a lot, but you're right. still eating the same amount as with a bigger fork. And then there's a third option where, again, we're just fucking idiots and we can't comprehend this, and then the, the statement is actually totally correct, but we're just dumb. Yeah. Okay. I thought you were reading something, so <sighs> maybe we're just dumb. <laughs> I was like, what's this one about? <laughs> you know cell phones are full of bacteria? Yeah. That makes sense, right? Yeah. Like, I hate to talk on the phone. Like, yeah. I will put it on speaker and talk yeah. so I don't have to let it touch my face or else I'll break out. Interesting. It says, while it's unlikely that they cause cancer or spark a fire at a gas station, as popular lore might suggest, mobile devices have been found to be loaded with bacteria. What were you going to say? 
you saw me getting ready to say something. I saw, I saw uh, you. Uh, when like I was younger, I feel like most girls will resonate with this because th- we were always told to never put our phones in our cancer. shirts because of breast cancer and the radiation of the phone right. to the. I guys it, were but... told to not uh, put like put in their electronics. Pockets? No, like around their dicks. Like if you're la- if you have your laptop, like don't oh, put it on your lap like, don't it could because it could reduce your Whoa! Some shit. I don't know. Maybe understandable for some men. Um, <clears throat> I'm kidding, but yeah, I remember that. And not <laughs> did you just get <laughs> register? <sighs> T. But yeah, uh, phones are nasty. Um, and it's also like people take their phones to their bathrooms too. Oh yeah. And like, I'd be cleaning my phone though. Like I actually be wiping I, down my phone with Lysol and shit. Oh yeah, me too. Mm. Me too. I'm ready for my new phone. Is what I'm ready for. <clears throat> Still not here. This one's gonna fuck you up. A little right. bit. I'm it's, gonna, it's gonna that. be like ooh. Oh. Dogs can smell cancer. Ah. What? I'm going up to Bella right now. Smell me <laughs> and let me know. Take a whiff. Ready? You smell anything off? <laughs> okay, but that's kind of not fair because how are they supposed to let us know? So here's here, here's what they say. They don't call them, quote unquote, man's best friend for nothing. Researchers have found that dogs are able to pick up on a specific scent that cancer produces in a person which is undetectable to humans. So if your dog is acting strange around you, it might be you who needs to get checked out by a physician. Okay, this doesn't apply because Bella has anxiety and she's always sketch. So how I guess are we... if she's more sketch, if she's like Does... tripping the fuck out, go, go yeah. check out. Yeah. Can Damn, you also just imagine if like, you just smell really bad and she's like, girl, like, have you showered? Girl, what is not clicking at the fact that you have not showered in four days? Get in there. But like... That kind of makes Just another sense. reason why we don't deserve dogs, you know? We really, wholeheartedly, we don't deserve dogs. They are the best animal to have. I don't care what anyone says. Mm, I want a dog. The best. You should get one. Number 14. Bees can detect bombs. See, like, what I'm not understanding is why these animals that aren't able to tell us when something is wrong, why do they get the power? Someone's making this up. There is no way a bee can detect a bomb. bomb. If you thought that was impressive, if if you thought the dog thing was impressive, bees are able to detect bombs with their tongues. Can you imagine? (laughs) He said, (laughs) yep, that's a nuclear. That's that's the bomb right here. Clear out the area. That's C4 right there. Like, what is like, what does that mean? Like, how, what is, what is the purpose? Can you imagine we started training bees somehow as like to be the bomb It's giving the bee movie. We need B movie to be real. <laughs> Maybe not the love story. Fuck but... the love story. Kind of because the fact that she fell in love with a bee is giving no. In that situation, who gives the birds and the bees talk? The, the birds, birds, I guess. <laughs> We're stupid. She had a dumb truck in that movie. Yo, she was thick. <laughs> she was a. Thick baddie. I'm not going to lie. Disney has no business. Why? Yo, it's animated. They have no business making certain characters. Why she got a dumpy? Thick. Like slim thick. Like waist snatched ass out. Makes it's no not sense. fair because I'm built like a door. I would love to be Mrs. Incredible for Halloween, but she guess what? It, it won't happen. <laughs> Supply to Disney. They'll change that. <laughs> I get a BBL. Call me Drake. Call you Drake? Yeah, there's this like meme of like bbl drake right now and how like drake gives bbl energy how you know what bbl is yeah brazilian butt lift yeah it's just like <clears throat> i don't know it's just like he gives how BBL... does drake give brazilian butt lift he energy he gives bbl energy and then there's this like other like what does that mean i wish i could tell you so they don't ride the trend if you don't get it but it's funny like it's you don't get funny. it because i feel like drake does like he's so like Drake gives the rapper He's, like successful vibes. He doesn't give <sighs> Drake Drake gives Drake. Drake gives I'm that guy vibe. Drake gives cocky light skin. I don't even think he gives that much of a cockiness like vibe to. I heard he's I I don't know. I'm fucking I don't know the guy. I, I don't think know. Who, I, I mean I, that's People. my cousin. That's my cousin. I would know. Okay. Um listen up. <laughs> Listen up here. That's my cousin. Drake is my cousin. Um, my he's, um Yeah, no. I don't know. But Drake definitely is a little conceited light skin. I, I mean, if you're it. at the top, rightfully so. No, yeah. Like, do you. Like, respects to you. But also, like, 
I this one's going to piss you off. Yeah. Oh, I don't know if I want to hear it. Boyfriends do more housework mm. than husbands. Boyfriends have more do more housework than husbands? Yeah. How is that sur- possible? So a survey of 17,000 people across 28 countries found that after marriage, the amount of time uh, a man spends doing chores on a weekly basis decreases significantly. So like you guys live together as boyfriend girlfriend then you get married and then yeah, like he just I guess like stops. Boyfriends are more inclined to to show their significant other that hey Hey, we can do this for the long run. And then doesn't hold it down. (laughs) Interesting. That pisses me off. (laughs) What do you mean? You can't hold like do the fucking dishes. Hang on, hang on. The world's biggest tire producer is Lego. (laughs) Do you get it? No. The toy company produces approximately 306 million tires per year. Because of like their mini cars and it's like their little far more weight. than any other manufacturer in the world, they may be tiny toy tires, <laughs> but the fact still stands. Yo, Lego, they how need do you feel their about appreciation, that? dog. Shout out to Lego. Shout Time out to, to go Lego. to Lego, the Lego store. Lego Land. Um, Lego Land kind of overwhelms me. Can you imagine going to like Lego and be like, "Hey, you guys have amazing efficiency." You just like go in there and you start clapping, and they're like, "What the fuck? This is just like no, like we need you guys on our team." Like, like hey, can you guys, guys make? A, can you imagine making? Can you imagine if Lego was like an actual like manufacturer for tires, like like real tires? They would sell out. They do you amazing. Think? Yeah, they do amazing. Our generation grew up with that shit. Yeah, everyone in our generation would buy some fucking Lego tires for right? sure. And it just had the what Lego. Kind of tires you it had got? the Lego, Lego like logo on the tire. Oh come on, it's a sleeper, brother. You might have done something. Oh, I've got to invest in Lego cool. now. <laughs> what the? I'm this guy. He's. I'm gonna send an email. <laughs> <laughs> this one just. This one just says naps could save your life. <laughs> I know. It has. That one I know. Very much every day. I promise you that allergies. Once I nap, that's just gone. <laughs> Research has found that a midday nap can make you more creative, focused, and fresh for the rest of the day. But one study also found that they can also reduce your risk of heart attack of a heart attack. Specifically, reduce your risk of a heart attack? Yeah. Guess I ain't never get one. Specifically, those who regularly nap were found to be 37% less likely to die from a heart attack or other coronary ailment than those who work straight through the day. That makes sense, because, you know, you're resting. Does that give you the right to ask your boss for a nap? Well, I'm going to start to. Hey, girl, it's my nap time. And, like, none of this, like, I'm napping on my lunch. I'm talking, like, I'm getting a lunch, and I'm getting a nap. Yeah, no, no, no. I'm getting both. And my nap will be three hours. (laughs) All right, relax there. (laughs) That's the other thing. Like, short naps are the best naps. Like, a 15-minute nap apparently is, like, the best how like a 15 can you to 20? nap for 15 minutes my mom can do it she can take a nap and then wake up like 20 minutes later and you're like, not right. napping you're convincing yourself you're napping you're Girl, really just awake still, for 15 I swear, minutes that's still the time where you're processing you're like you're making the scenarios in your head and you're like all right this is what's happening tonight time to go you're to bed. convincing yourself you're trying to sleep you know it's like okay stop thinking so much and go to bed bitch it's one of those because when i nap sometimes i see the next day oh bro lights are out out i wake up don't know what year it is you know especially after having benadryl oh yeah you need that shit i do i really really do allergies dolphins sleep with one eye open one eye open when i'm sleeping doesn't surprise me one eye is that a sound what is that it's a tiktok you don't know it it? no i don't know No, it's so funny i need to show it to you i'll show it to you after actually i want to see a reaction on the podcast the only one I like is Holy Spirit, activate. Activate. Oh, my God. Tell the story of us um, in EB Games. <laughs> While oh, I find the TikToks out. Fucking hell. Guys, we're at EB Games, and uh, we were looking for uh, the PS5. We were just inquiring. We were inquiring about a Because uh, we knew PS5. it was sold out. For me. And um, basically, the worker, well, we got to talking <laughs> with the worker, and he was, very he nice. was like, very yeah, nice. he was nice. He was like, we, he's like, sorry guys, we don't have one. Like, okay, whatever. So we're just browsing this, the rest of the store. <laughs> and for some reason, I found a Ouija bottle opener. A Go Ouija figure. Bo- <laughs> okay, you're opening the fucking port, the actual portal of hell because, ugh, fuck it. It was literally like the triangle with the circle that you look through <laughs> to like scan your room and like see the 
And I didn't think anyone was watching me. So I was just like, holy spirit, activate. And I I match the energy and I start singing too. And the worker (laughs) starts giggling. And we said... (laughs) I turned over. I was like, oh, shit. He's like, sorry, guys. I I love that TikTok sound. I was like, me too. Holy spirit. Activate. God, it was stuck in my head for the rest of the day after that. I'm not even going to lie. That part part got me. Okay. um, Wait. Um, I'm sending you this TikTok. So go on TikTok. Actually, I'll just text it to you. Okay. When I open when I'm sleeping. When I. (laughs) It's my favorite video ever. Okay, send. Don't be shy. Okay, got it. One eye open when I'm sleeping. What the fuck? One eye. I'm kind of hidden there. One eye open when I'm sleeping. Mm-hmm. Move like a dickhead. Mm-hmm. Sit like a dickhead. Rinse. Watch when I catch one sipping. Yeah. Eating your chick. Pum pum dripping. Mm-hmm. You don't get straps. You're not chilling. You don't know. 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 Yeah. You don't know. <laughs> Yo. You gotta like. When I'm sleeping. Holy when shit. I... Oh, he was hitting it. The, the rap kind of threw me off guard, not gonna lie. I'm not gonna lie to you. I've never seen the original. So when it kept going, I was like, oh, that's interesting. <laughs> Yo, this oh, that's last so one. Funny. Yes. This one's like a, like a, whoa, pigs don't sweat. I knew that. So if someone tells you that they're sweating like a pig, they're not. You're not. Because pigs don't sweat. So why do why do who pigs came up ha- with that? Why are pigs so like hated? Why? Yeah, why do people hate like oh some some when pigs fly? Why not when <laughs> why not when when ducks, horses? Ducks, the horses. You know why is it always pigs? What's wrong with pigs? Horses are actually uh, what's the word praised because like horsepower. Things are you know measured in horsepower. Yeah, like yeah. Like vehicle speed. Yeah, like that thing's got <clears throat> horsepower. Not speed, but power. Yeah. Yeah. So it's like, why are pigs the fucking poop? And even like, yeah, like even when pigs are are associated with cops, like bad cops, and they're like, never understood that. I guess because of like a pig. But again, why did the animal like? Why you're did such they get a roped pig. into like, it? Yeah, why? like you're such a pig. Oh my god! You're, I feel like, like pigs are cute. Baby pigs? Have you seen a baby pig? Piglets? I know Piglet. piglets. That's what they're called. <laughs> um... <laughs> They're so cute. Yeah, man. I would yeah. have a farm. If, and like, if I could, I would, I would have, have a farm. farm. Yeah. Uh, the thing is, like, I hate the smell of them. Like pigs? No, of a farm. <laughs> I was like, but we were just complimenting pigs, Maya. The <laughs> fuck? <laughs> you're like, you're you a hater. I just said, no. fuck pigs. I said, fuck the smell. No, I just feel like. Yeah, the, the manure. A, it's just not it. I feel like you yeah. get used to it. Like, definitely. yeah. But. But then it's like, would I want to like even host any events at my house when it smells like shit? No, no, probably. You know not. what I'm saying? I mean, with other farmers, I guess. God. Because they're all used to it. Bring your own pigs. Byop. Byop. That'd be a lit it party. Could, it could be byob. Bring your own bacon. <laughs> <laughs> you said it, not me. But that's what I meant. <laughs> I don't even want to eat bacon anymore, fam. Uh, <laughs> a not pig the, died so I could not, eat it. Fuck it, I'm going on a on a on a protest. Can you sit up? <laughs> no, I'm protesting. No more you turtles sit. being eaten. Okay. That was the first turtle I've ever. If we're going to continue to eat turtles, we're bringing back I will, straws. I'm. We st- have straws, but plastic straws. We are bringing back plastic straws. <laughs> He's actually like, we just don't be sucking out of anything. Wait. I don't. Interesting. <laughs> Anyways. I don't know what you'll be sucking. Nope. I'm a child of the Lord. The Amen. Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. So, yeah, those are some pretty amazing facts. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. Um,. <laughs> That's what happens. Yeah, so pigs don't sweat and Oreos are vegan. Oreos are vegan. That's all we got from that. Oreos wasn't even on the list. That was just one of them oh. that I told you. Maya. Stop. Why am I being yelled at? 
Where can they find you? You guys can find me. I'm just kidding. You guys can find me at Maya Moulton with two N's on Instagram, TikTok, and just Maya Moulton on YouTube. Where can they find you? You guys can find me at Elias Aito on Instagram and TikTok and just yeah. Z on YouTube. Yeah. Uh, where can they find us? You guys can find us at The Fond Bond on Instagram, TikTok, and YouTube. We try to post every Thursdays. It's in the air. Yeah. So I think Thursdays are it's our days. It's kind of like, uh, oh my God, are they going to post today or not? It's like a game. We like to suspense. You know? Kind of like Squid Games. It's maybe not. But yeah, it's giving unprofessional. But you know what? We make it work. That's on period. No. Hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, thank you so much for watching. And uh, we'll see you guys next week. very long outro he's doing it bye guys it was great talking Later. to you there we go he said i'm gonna do the wave i'm becoming a break dancer it was giving step up channing tatum is that Ooh. you <laughs> <laughs> no cut right. later cut cut yo i could do a sick moonwalk